Hi, we are going to have a quick look at the upper bound of put options. So let's look at the upper bound of put options for American options and then we can have a look at the upper bound of put options for European options. Now remember, a put option gives you the optionality to sell the underlying at a particular strike price. So let's assume, for example, you have a put option on a particular stock and assume that the current stock price is $100 and the strike is $75. What this means is if the strike is $75 and let's assume this is an American put option. So what that means is you could, as part of your put option, you could exercise your option and sell the this stock for $75. If you sell it for $75, you will get $75 since that's the strike price of your option. But you wouldn't exercise this option. If you, if you think about it, you could sell the stock for $100 in the market. As part of your option, why would you sell it for $75? Why would you sell, it, sell something for less when you can sell it for more? So therefore, the payoff of this option would be zero. Now let's look at another case where you have another put option and in this case your strike is $80. Still you will not exercise this option because why would you sell it for $80 when you can sell it for $100 in the market. So therefore the payoff is zero. So you can see a put option is not valuable when your strike is less than your underlying. And that's what I'm showing you here. Now these two put options are quite valuable because the underlying stock is trading at $100 but the strike is $120. In other words, you can easily sell this stock which is trading at $100 in the market for $120 and therefore you can make a payoff, you can make a payoff of positive $20. So you can see the a put option is valuable as the strike as the strike increases beyond the underlying so that's what we are saying here uh, the payoff of a put option is valuable when the strike moves beyond the underlying in other words of course this for a particular put option once you purchase the put option the the strike is a constant because it's part of the contract so what happens is if the underlying stock price keeps going down then the put option becomes valuable so the maximum value the maximum value a put option could take is when your underlying price is zero in other words let's say a stock you, you buy a particular put option on a stock for let's say the strike is 150 dollars and the next day the stock price crashes to almost zero then the payoff is 150 dollars because even though in the market it's zero you can sell the same stock for 150 dollars to your counterparty and therefore you will make a payoff of 150 dollars so you can see the maximum value a put option could take is the strike price so put option can never be worth more than its strike price. So it's quite important to remember. The maximum value a put option could take is its strike price. A put option can never be worth more than its strike price. Now, in case, now this is for American put options. In case a put option is priced beyond the strike price of that put option for an American option, then there are arbitrage opportunities. In other words, you can make risk-free gates basically you can buy the underlying and you can at the same time you can sell the put option and i will show that in another video how you could make an arbitrage profit if your put option is priced beyond the strike now for european options remember for european put options you can only exercise at maturity and therefore the maximum value a European put option can take is you have to simply discount the strike to today. So that's 
so you basically you discount it at the exponent of the risk-free interest rate using the exponent of the risk-free interest rate so remember for a European put option since it can only be exercised at maturity the maximum value an European put option can take is the strike discounted using the risk-free interest rate to your current day or the, to your present day so these are some important things that you need to understand a put option an American put option can never be worth beyond its strike price and the same way an European put option can be never can never be worth beyond its strike price discounted at the risk-free interest rate so hope you understood this if you have any questions post it in the comment section and I can take a look thank you